if you can focus your mind on it, you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going. You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. The very first level is you seeing it. You got to know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're going to compromise. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out. Read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. In each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace. Give up your blood. Give up your sweat. Give up your tears. Give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's going to hand it to you. You've got to grind for it. You've got to stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving and keep growing. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going. When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required. When you feel that it's worth it, you don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. When you go up in there and you start going at it passionately and working with it and working with it and working with it it will reveal its secrets to you and you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now if you live long enough a lot of stuff will come against you and you gotta throw what you got at it you can't throw what you wish you had you can't throw what your neighbor had you gotta throw what you got at it don't tell me that you want something if you're not willing to throw what you got at it. You got to have inner strength for this fight. It's not your outer strength. It's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. So you got to have that inner strength, that cut strength, that belly strength, that devil defined come hell or high water strength. 
that tenacity to take a licking and keep on ticking. That inner strength that when I can't do as I would, I'm going to do as I can, but I'm not going to stop doing to the best of my ability. You are excellent. Now stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop playing small. You are excellent. Stop taking the hand that they dealt you. Take ownership. If you can get all A's in the class, do it. You don't need nobody to give you $50, $100, no pair of shoes, take you on no trip. You a grown man. Do it because you can. Stop needing a carrot. Stop needing money. Stop needing a trip. Stop needing somebody to give you a sticker on your head and do it for the pride of who you are. Do it because you can. I don't care what your friends are doing. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? I want you to go to the next level and not just be a champ, but show the world what a champion looks like. The powers that we have will never reveal themselves if we don't challenge them. If we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to use them. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. And if we're honest this evening, we know that we haven't done all we can do. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life.